Hello and welcome to Luke Salmon Books and Studios. My name is Luke, of course, and we are building a website from scratch and we are also using hacks. We've just migrated over to using a server-based router and we're going to be expanding on that in this video. We're going to be um, using the router to actually connect to our database and actually develop our news page properly. We might even expand into other pages, but it'll most likely be a focus on the news page in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so obviously the last video was a little unusual because unfortunately I didn't feel that all of the recordings that I was doing yesterday were really up to my standard quality. Um, with regards to my tutorial content so obviously that was a little different we're going to go back to normal in this video so do not fret we are going back to normal so as mentioned we will be using a manual uh, way of routing our pages through uh, the switch statement and you're probably wondering well what typically a router is normally a class it sits inside of a class and you might have say a function saying add root and you might have a parameter and when you and when the routing actually matches the URL then it will call a specific function we're not doing it in this way in that in this way in these tutorials and the main reason why is because that method is actually kind of slow when you think about it because you have to iterate over an array and you have to do a lot of pattern matching um, you you do tend to obviously do pattern matching with switch statements but with switch state switch statements unlike with say for example a router for example um, a class-based router an object-oriented router let's say you wouldn't have a case statement like say for news which is what we would do here and you also uh, wouldn't uh, because you might have say news and then you might have within news you'll have say an item that you want to display right then you might have a category so you might have a specific category you might have uh, search queries so you know in order to match all of those you have to actually check each of these statements, which is what we will do in this case statement, of course. And because we're checking it within this case statement, we're not iterating over three items, which would otherwise be the case, um, or up to three items, which would otherwise be the case in a typical object oriented router in this case what we're doing is we are only iterating against one item that being the first item in this roots string and then we're checking whether it's an item or category or search query in a class-based router that is potentially a little slower it's probably all right for simple websites like this one but as your website grows or you're creating a web application and you're and you constantly add more and more and more and more and more URLs and the more complicated it becomes root class based routers will most likely get slower and slower and slower and slower. I mean, naturally, as code gets more complicated, naturally, it will get slower. And that's obviously why you tend to. Uh, optimize things and I think what, what what you'll probably find when with regards to optimization is you'll probably end up using a lot of if statements anyway you'll probably go back to using things like switch statements and this is why I'm taking this approach because I feel this is perhaps more performant than the, your typical router that you might find in your standard web framework so in this case what i'm going to be doing with regards to these news statements is we're going to be checking whether they are items categories or a search query now to start with 
if we go to our brackets and we load this initially what we will find is when we go to here we will we will have things like this for example so we'll have general development books right so each of these is a category um, so what I want to do is I want to create a category for these uh, inside of the database before I actually begin so in here I've got a category which is an integer and currently it's minus one meaning it's kind of global I suppose um, so what I'm now going to do is create another table and I'm going to call it news category and in, in here, I'm just going to put simply an ID, which is going to auto increment. That's going to be primary. And next, we're going to have a title or name, let's say. Let's call it name. That's going to be a var car, probably a limit of 32 characters. Uh, there's not going to be a default value there. And that is um, actually. I was going to say that was going to be it, and I really should lowercase these. So, ID name, uh, class uh, name. So that's referring to the CSS uh, class that we're looking for. Um, and that's going to be a var car of 32 as well. Now the reason we're doing that is because we want to be able to look for the class that we want to assign for the color. Um, so if we go over to here, these uh, general development books, these have different colors against them. So we want to be able to assign different colors. So if we go back to here, um, this is ID name, class name. That looks fine by me. That looks fine. And again, I need to change the engine to an ODB just to be sure. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm, I'm going to put inside the foreign keys a news category, uh, news item. So in here, I'm going to say, well, this is, a, this is going to be linked to news. And the foreign column is going to be category. So when we delete, we're going to cascade, meaning that if we delete this category, every single news item related to that category will also be deleted. Oh, maybe I need to do it the other way around. Let's clear that. Uh, save. Oh, God. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Restart application. It might be a good idea to actually update this. Um, news. Let's try it in here. News category. So, that's going to be category there. Reference is going to be news category. And that's going to be ID. And that is going to cascade okay let's see and we can't do that <laughs> okay you know what discard I don't know what's going on there um, but anyway I think it might actually be because I've got data in here actually thinking about it but I'm not going to worry about that now I'm not going to bore you to death with this um, I don't want it to be a comedy of errors like it was the other day. So I'm going to forget that for now and just go back to here. So in here, um, if I go back to, where is it? So I've got uh, news.htm here, for example. So I've got category, uh, category navigation. So each of these is an A class like this. Um, I should probably make the URL available as well inside of here. So I'm going to put URL in here. Um, I don't think it really... Mm. Does it really matter or shall I just lowercase it? 
I think I'll just lowercase it for the time being, so I'm just going to discard that. Um, so this is a, a a link. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to paste it in here, literally. Um, obviously, it's not going to work because it's not hacks code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if roots.length is greater than or equal to two. So basically, I want to check to see if what page we're on. If we're on the news page, then in fact, technically, the news page is our home page. So we wouldn't be here. We would be in here. So if our if our path is news, if our path is news, then we're going to be doing this stuff in here. So this is going to be our new, basically our um, news page. So set up news page and so we know we're getting the news page right so our path uh, let's see we'll handle all of this for all of the other cases later i think but for the time being, let's just keep it like this for now. So what I'm going to do inside of roots.length, I am going to, in fact, let's just do the else case for the time being. Um, so I, all I want to do is basically generate what we what we originally saw inside of here and replace category navigation, category and category content. That's all I want to do. So in here, um, in fact, first of all, inside of here, I'm going to say use underscore category dot HX. I'm going to say news underscore category. That's going to extend sys.db.object. You can imagine how tedious this can get over time. So eventually there will be a time when we actually start using hack share and this will this process will be sped up so what else did we have we had name and class name okay for now i'm just going to call the mess string i don't really care about the um length for now and class name, a string. Uh, so, uh, 32, I should have known, by 32. And again, um, well, we're not going to need shared T news anymore, really. Um, so I'm just going to ignore that for the time being. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get our categories and that's going to be news underscore category. I'm going to just star on that. So that's going to be equal to news underscore category manager all and what I'm now going to do is for category data so that's going to be a string and for category so for each category in this collection what I'd like to do is category data and then I'm just going to plus equals this value here. So I'm going to cut that. I'm going to paste it in here. 
And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of that hash because that's not going to be necessary. And here I'm going to say category dot class name because that's what it would be. Uh, so we want to lowercase that. So what shall I call it? I don't know. Lowercase name, something like that. Category dot class name dot to lowercase, right? So in here, I'm going to say LC name. And here I'm going to say category dot name. And uh, that is supposed to be just name, not class name. So there we go. So that's going to be our category data. That's what we will replace this with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly just put in those items in here. So that's going to be general. We had a class name of, I believe it was Lime. So that was our class name. Uh, we've got development that is blue. And finally, books, which is orange. So let's just test this one thing for the time being. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of all of these. I'm going to leave that like that. So this is our category navigation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all of this and I'm going to put this inside of an else statement because we're going to do something specific with what we have here. So we have our body, which is what we normally have. So inside of our body, I'm just going to cut copy and paste this so our path is of course our news um, and we need to make sure that we add our root plus our pages slash like that and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say body is equal to body dot replace You can see how simple this is, right? It's actually not that hard. Category navigation. So I'm just going to replace that with our category category data. And we're going to print it very simply. And of course, before we do that, we also want to print. In fact, we don't know. Don't do that. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Um, we've got our header content. So let's make sure that we do that. Um, so I'm just going to copy that and put that there. So our page name again, we're just going to put that there. Okay. So this is going to be our typical go to depending on whether or not we're matching this case or not. We're, we're not currently matching it, but we'll deal with that a bit later. Um, so this kind of stuff technically would actually fall under here. And then I'm just going to get rid of this because that's no longer needed. And I'm going to do that. So let's test that and see what happens, shall we? So 
Reveal and Explorer hacks. I'm going to open this and I'm going to say hacks build server dot hxml. Looks like it's done something. So here we are. We actually have our categories. So let's take a look at that at full screen. So here we go. We've got our categories. So something's going on there. I think we're missing some. I, th I feel like I'm missing something. So we've got our news category general at the bottom. If we were to click on that, it's doing nothing at the moment. Um, we're still getting our header, as you can see. <laughs> we're, we're, we're replacing document title with nothing. So that's what's happening there. But um, as you can see, it's falling under our case that we added and that's obviously not doing anything at the moment so we'll handle that in the moment um so we've got this um that's that's cool so what i'm now going to do and this doesn't quite look right i thought i thought i um modified the css so that let's take a look so dot category have our let's add some margin so that it looks like it's doing something right that looks a bit better so there we go there's a bit of space between those now so it doesn't look like it's um you know all squished together but anyway so we know we can get some categories from the database so that's all good uh, so let's go back and do the rest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now get our news items so for each of the, for each of our categories. So we've got. Um, we can do it in here actually. So what so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, news cat uh, news let's say news for category something like that. And what I'm going to do is say news dot manager. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to search. Now the way that we search is we use what's considered, say, hacks, ex um, macro expressions, let's say. So it's like, it's like, um, uh, what am I trying to say? It's like macro context. I think it is macro context, actually, but so that it generates SQL statements depending on what you put in here. So you can put, add any expression in here and it will generate an equivalent SQL statement. And it will also prevent things like SQL injection, that sort of thing. So in this case, what I'd like to do is I want to get the actual category name. So in order to do that, I need to prefix category with the dollar. So in this instance, what I'm doing is I'm referring to the actual database table uh, column, which is this, instead of the actual category uh, value. Um, so what I want that to match is our category.id, right? That's what I want it to match. And what I'm now going to do is I am going to say if news for category um, has a length greater than zero, then what I'd like to do is actually add the general followed by 
or whichever it might be, followed by any articles. So if we don't have articles underneath a category, then we don't want to add it. If we do have articles under our category, then add them. So in here, uh, let's just go back to our news.htm. So here's our category, right? And then we've got our category content. Now, we're not doing it in the best manner possible, really. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm actually going to cut this. And instead, I'm going to put here category content. And that's it. Uh, so inside of here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it. So again, in here, what I'm going to do is say far uh, category content data that's going to be a string now you might wonder well is this actually the best way to do it well a lot of there's a lot of um apis that you have say libraries such as uh, react and angular js to apparently simplify this process and to templatize things and stuff like that I mean, the way we're doing it is a very simple way of doing templates. Um, and that probably works in our favor because hacks doesn't exactly generate the fastest PHP code um, in the world. But um, for libraries such as uh, React and AngularJS, I mean, I haven't technically used them myself, but as a rule of thumb, you should, if you care about web website performance, you should avoid templates anyway, generally speaking. Uh, but anyway, so in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say category content data. And in here, I'm going to cut this and put it in here. And this is going to be our category dot so you can see what I'm doing here right um, I'm not I test the design first I get the design working to what I would like and then later on if I want to make changes I can just cut and paste where I need to and then just modify things that might seem a little less convenient and I can see why uh, libraries such as react JS and angular JS exist but I mean I'd rather focus on making things performant and if that means sacrificing convenience for that then I'm all for it that's my opinion um, and I hope perhaps I can inspire some people in that direction. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get these. I'm going to put that in there. And finally, what I'm now going to do is iterate over each of those um, news. Oh, next thing, I'm, the thing I'd like to do actually is in here, I'm going to say uh, limit is three um, because what I'd like to do and also the date posted. So this is the options as you can see. So the I want the limit to be three and I want the sort. Is it sort or order? I can't remember now. Let's have a look. Opera. So let's take a look at uh, github.com record macros 
and what I'm going to do is find out whether it is order or limit um, order by here we are so that's why it is order by so we want a limit of three and we are going to order by our date posted so our date posted as we put it in here has an underscore so i'm going to say minus date underscore posted which means we're doing it in descending order the reason we want to do it in descending order is because i want the most up to date first and the last updated last obviously <laughs> um so Yeah, in here, what I'm going to do is say for news in news for category. And this time, what I'm going to do is this. So I'm going to cut that. And I'm going to say category content data. And in fact, you know what, I think it would be more appropriate if I did that. I think that would make more sense. Actually, no, it wouldn't. What am I doing? No. <laughs> I was thinking that I was outside this loop for a, bit, for a minute there. No, that's not what I want. Um, so what I'm going to do now is put in here category content data plus equals that and inside of this bit here so I in here I'm going to say dollar news and inside of our news we have a uh, we don't actually have a URL not strangely I think that might be a good idea because we could have any kind of character and title. So I'm going to put URL here. And I'm going to make that uh, var car of 64 once again. And I'm going to put that there. So let's save that. And in the URL, I'm going to put down just basic dash example and inside of our news we need to update that as well i'm going to put a below title so that's an s string of 64. we don't need that anymore because i am no longer connecting to a javascript file for this um or actually We'll probably put that back in place when we actually go ahead and add um, a JavaScript-based router for, uh, what was I going to say, for adding the control panel later. Okay, so category content data, that is going to be, again, our title. So that's going to be dollar news dot title. Finally, we are going to mark down that the description because that's going to be a markdown. Uh, so let's see, we've got our HTML, which is going to be our markdown dot markdown do HTML. That's going to be news dot description. No, it's not. It's going to be content. What am I talking about? And finally, that's going to be. It. So the first thing that I'd like to do actually before I go ahead and do that is say HTML is equal to HTML dot sub str. And what I'd like to do is I want to get the first index of this. And then I'm going to actually plus uh, 
whatever the length of that is because what I want to do is make sure that I actually because this gets the index of this arrow here so once it finds this out once it finds this the index of is actually whatever the first character of the string is okay so what I then need to do is add the length of that to capture that tag so that there's no problems with it so what I'm now going to do is add that to HTML and finally let's make sure we capture that as well category content data and this as well cool now you can see why that is perhaps a little better than say i mean well i say a little better again i haven't used react js or angular js or i can't really comment this is actually the way i've done develop uh, web development because a even though this may be harder to read in reality we can do things like this for example hey uh, we can create markdown and we can uh, make sure that we can parse things and we can um, process everything on the server side and at least that way we have that kind of control whereas with something like say react.js i have looked into it um, but with something like react.js you kind of have to um, work with whatever it offers you and you either have less control or more control depending on the tools that it offers you again i have not technically used react.js so i can't really make a comment but this is how i've done things it's the, it's the way i prefer to do things but anyway i'm not going to rant too much about it like i said but anyway so what i'm now going to do is down here or so let's i'm gonna put that up here actually that might be a better idea and what i'm going to do is once we've gone through all of those categories and we've got our category content so again i'm go what i'm going to do is put that here No, I'm not. I'm going to put it here. Because <laughs> I don't want to reset that each in each category. So we want to get the total of that, whatever that total might be. And then what I'm going to do is down here, I'm going to say body is equal to body dot replace. category co uh, content did i say yes like that category content data so what i'm going to do with that basic example is just make sure that that category id is one so that we get to see it so that's uh general right um so I'm going to go ahead now and compile that. Obviously, uh, so news. Let's just um, get rid of that for the time being. Excuse my voice a minute. And d d line seventeen. What's going on there? Can iterate on the dynamic value, 91. What's it complaining about? News for category. Why are you talking, what? It's a list, you weirdo. 
I thought we could do that. It's a razor. Oh, because, um, wait, that's also returning a list. So how come we can iterate over that then? And not that. <laughs> Let's try it again without that a minute. Hang on, I just want to test something because that just doesn't sound right. Yeah, it is working. Weird. Anyway, um, so <laughs> what I'm going to do now is go back to index.php. And as you can see, if we go to our side screen, we are seeing our general, our basic example, and there we have it. So that's all cool. Now, obviously, if we click on that, oh, that's a hash. I need to change that. Um, uh, yeah, we need to change that. That's um, So that's a hash. We need to get rid of that to make sure that we don't make sure, so that we make sure of that. So what I'm now going to do is uh, uh, capture our item here. So inside of here, we've got, let's say, our roots.length is, say, greater than or equal to 2. So if our roots is, so if roots, so the, the second item in roots, if that's item, so then what we want to make sure of is we have our, we want to make sure that our roots.length is equal to 3. So now what we want is our news item. So that's going to be the name that we get. This is going to be roots2, right? So in here, I'm going to say news.manager.get. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to search, actually. And in here, what I'm going to say is title is equal to whatever roots2 is. We want to make sure that our news item that we get back, or let's call it news result actually, or re results, let's call it results. So in, in here, I'm going to say results.length. We should have a result. So what I'm going to do is say news item is equal to results zero. And then we are going to get So our page name, in this case, is going to be our news item, uh, our news item's title, right? And then what I'm going to do is get this and put that here. In fact, what I should probably do is have a page, a local page name, which is outside of this context. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to say page name. So at least that way, we do not need to keep on doing this, right? <laughs> And this, and this, so there we go. So that should be fine now. So what I'm going to do in the case of this, oh, of course. So we can't actually iterate on lists. What I need to do is actually say first here. So anyway. Let's continue. So we've got our news item, and what I'd like to now do is say body is equal to file dot get content. And again, we want to get our root followed by our pages slash path. Um, in fact, we don't have a path while we're doing news item dot htm. That's what we want. So let's just double check I did that correctly. Yep. Okay, so this is our news item. 
and so we've got our title our date posted and our content and our category category url and category okay so i'm just going to copy that and no i'm not what am i talking about no all i want to do here is just say body is equal to body dot replace so i'm going to replace the title with our news item title oops so that's that there our date posted so i'm going to copy all of that and again we're going to replace that and this time we need to make sure that we replace uh so our date posted is a date obviously so we want to do two string there in the case of our category so that's literally our category name so boss body dot replace category so our category name that is so what i'm going to do here is var category is equal to news category dot manager dot get and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to say news item dot category that's it and what i'm going to do is say category dot name and for the category url that is going to be category dot name dot two lowercase <clears throat> and finally we also have our content here so this content is going to be our news uh, it's going to be markdown dot markdown to html and finally news item dot content and we're not obviously doing any prior parsing so we can leave that be and i'm just going to say body is equal to body dot replace content content okay so that is literally it for the item. So let's go ahead and test that. So let's go back to our page. So what I'm going to do is go back to the home screen. So this is our item basic example. Let's click on that and ooh, interesting. New slash item. basic dash example oh i'm i'm matching the title not the actual uh url <laughs> so i had title here instead of url you probably caught that <laughs> i was supposed to that was supposed to have been url um <laughs> uh. So let's just uh, double check that. Uh, oh, okay, what's going on? Still not working. Interesting. So let me just do a lib.print on roots2 just to see what that is. So in theory, we should be passing through here. Right, I would think anyway. Oh, we're not even passing through there. Hang on. Lib.print something. Yes, the good old printf kind of debugging. It's what we always wanted. Something. So we are passing through there, okay. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to print the roots. 
and see what that appears as. Um, refresh. News item, basic example. Oh. So it's thinking there's actually four items instead of three, which is interesting. So I'm just going to do a greater than or equals there um, just to capture that. So there we go. And we need an inner div class, inner panel there. So what I'm going to do is cut this. I'm going to say div class. I'm not sure if you see that. There we go. So in here, I'm going to say div class inner panel and paste that in there instead. And I'm also going to get rid of that lib print because we don't need that anymore. Build that and refresh. There we go. So as you can see, oh, <laughs> I've still got a lib print there. Let's get rid of that as well. Build, right. There we go. So. We have a basic example. It was apparently posted on the 23rd, apparently. Um, that's our category. Uh, oh, that's also a hash. We don't, no. That's also a bug. We don't want that. Refresh. There we go. Okay. So we've got a news category general. And this is a basic example, as you can see. So that's all good. And the final thing that I'd like to do now is when we click on the category, we want to be able to uh, actually go to those categories and view something like this, except on a per category basis. Um, so let's go ahead and quickly do that. That shouldn't take too long. I wouldn't have thought. So let's go ahead and check that. So, else if roots to is equal to, uh, not roots to, what am I talking about? Roots one is category. So in here, what I'm going to do is say, well, I'm going to do this check again. This time, uh, we're going to do the same that we're doing here, right? So... We've got our categories, except this time we're actually going to search for a specific name. And that name is going to be equal to whatever roots two is, right? And then I am going to simply copy and paste all of this, but we're not actually going to have a limit here. Uh, so in here, I'm going to say all of this. So our category data, our category content data. And whatever we, we've got this here as well. which is that. So let's just clean this up a bit. It's really this simple, actually, strangely. So our page name is going to be our category name. So page name is going to be equal to categories.first.name followed by news like that. Next, I am going to so we're going to keep this A class stuff here. 
and we're also going to keep our search box um i believe we did i put that anywhere i feel like i'm missing something <laughs> yes i am i need to get this <laughs> So let's copy that and paste that in here. So it, we're going to be using exactly the same template for our home page. When we click on categories, or, or any one of them anyway. And what I'm going to do is in here, I'm going to say, well, regardless of whether our length is like that or not, I still want to add this so i'm going to add that there there's only going to be one category anyway so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make oops i'm going to make this a var category is equal to categories dot first and if we happen that we do not have a length greater than zero, then I'm just going to put down no results for this category, right? Um, let's see, how shall I do this? So this is for basically everything here. So I'm just going to cut all of that and put it inside of categories.length there and fix the indentation. Where am I? Here we are. Right. Okay. So this is for if we've got categories. Otherwise, so I'm gonna have our body. We're, we're going to. I'm going to ma get the body anyway, regardless of whether we've got categories or not. And if we didn't get a category back, then the category name doesn't exist. So body is literally just going to be equal to file.getContent root plus pages not found .htm. that'll do for that but if we do if we do get something back uh, we will iterate through each of what our news for categories is I'm not going to have a limit at least for the time being we'll work out how we want to deal with lots of news articles a little later when we think about that so i'm not going to think about that right now in this video um, because it's getting on uh, but i will finish it off anyway so i want to get all of these if we do not have news items, then we want to make sure that we print something. So in here, what I'm going to say is category content data is equal to H1 so we'll still have this um, but let's uh, what shall I put here shall I put H1 or H2 maybe a paragraph I'll just put paragraph here no results that'll do that'll do we'll just see what that looks like I suppose in a minute so 
believe uh, path I doesn't know what that is well that's going to be our news anyway so I'm going to just put news there so let's build that and see what happens I'm going to refresh and then I'm going to go to our category so general uh, So we've got that, right. Um, oh, that's interesting. We, when we put general there, we didn't actually get any more categories, which is um, not technically what I want. So we've got our general, right? Uh, if we go back to here and then I say development, no results. But I still want to make sure that I've got all of the categories at the top there. So let's just uh, fix that uh, just temporarily. So what I'm going to do is say, instead of doing this, I'm still going to do all. But this time, what I'm going to do is say, I'm going to do this. Oops, was not meant to do that. So I'm going to do this and then what I'm going to do is say if category dot name is equal to our roots to so I'm going to do it this way instead and then I'm just going to so our category is instead going to be well that obviously so <laughs> I'm going to cut that so I'm going to put that in there and I'm just going to put category there right and then I'll just do the same for each of these we don't need that anymore and I'm going to cut that and put it outside there okay I'm going to put that in there So let's see, we go through our each of our categories, we post that. If the category name is roots, then I'm going to get the news for each of those categories in date descending order. I'm going to add the header. Then we are going to check each of the news. Make sure it's greater than zero. Then we're going to go through each of them. Pass the markdown, replace. If there's no results, then we'll print that instead. That looks good. Yeah. I think that's fine. And obviously, well, It's going to find categories, clearly. <laughs> so we don't need that anymore. Okay, cool. I suppose what I could do is check the name anyway. And if we don't have a name at all, so what I'm going to say is far found is equal to true uh, false so i'm going to say found is equal to true here and if we're not if we haven't found a category with the name so if not found 
then I will, in fact, just replace it with that pages slash not found dot htm there. So let's go ahead and test that. So I'm going to go back here. So if I were to go to development, oh, apparently it didn't find. Oh, I need to use LC name, not the uh, the lowercase name. So there we go. We've got no results in development. Um, there should be another one there. There should be another one there. That's interesting. I'm not resetting really category data anywhere, am I? Oh, well, okay. What I'll do, so, Originally, what we had was this. I'm going to cut that and I'm going to put that outside of the categories loop um, just to be sure of that. And I believe. What's that part of? Yeah, that's part of the categories. Um, no, I'm not even outside the categories loop. What am I doing? So I need to put that there, right. Okay. Uh, category content data, that needs to be outside of the loop, ideally. So there we go, okay. Compile, test, okay, cool, there we go. So, as we can see, we've got all of our categories here. We've got development, we've got books. There's no results for either of them. If we go to general, we've got that. If we were to type in something random here, no, nope. anything random, not found. There we go. Cool. So that is that for the time being. I am not going to go any further than this. We've gone quite far. So we're... We're getting quite far with this, honestly. Um, I mean, you can see how simple this code actually is, considering, obviously, you can say a lot about web frameworks, but when you think about these switch statements, you can see how simple it actually is um, versus actually using a web framework. And then you might find that when you update those web frameworks and suddenly everything stops working, um, for whatever reason, and you have to change all of your code, and that's not necessarily a good idea. So I do, I do definitely um, recommend that you do it uh, this this way round, because then at least that way you're not depending on some third party library tool to keep on updating. Um, so there we have it for the time being. I'm going to implement search in the next video as well as um cater for say pagination so thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time <laughs>